What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be sharing these 5 tips and tricks for importing DWG or AutoCAD files into Revit so you can kind of transform your AutoCAD project, your 2D plans into a, a 3D model in Revit. I'm going to be sharing you uh, with you how to set up the file in CAD before you get into Revit so you don't have any trouble uh, with the file before you start working with it. After that, I'm uh, going to be talking about the correct way to import and how to do all of the setups, then how to position it and lock it in place. And after that, we're going to be covering all of the visibility graphic settings as well as uh, how to set up the whole uh, view so you can see your floor plan from AutoCAD uh, in the right way. And then how to use uh, this uh, plan effectively to model your Revit model. Okay, so that's what we're going to be covering, but before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And all of these uh, files will be uploaded to my Patreon, first link in the description. And I've been taking a bit of a break, so I've been a bit less regular this week, uh, I've been a bit sick, so I apologize about that. Okay, let's get started. So as you can see over here, I'm in AutoCAD, and uh, here I've just got uh, this simple uh, floor plan and this is what I'm going to be using uh, to demonstrate all of the things. So as you can see we've got two of these uh, floor plans, this is kind of the lower level and this is the first level. Now if I load this into, the Re into Revit, this will all be placed on a single level. So if I go, this will be uh, all on level one, for example, but this should be on level one and this should be on level two. So how do you separate these? Well, you actually need to create uh, two new files. So what I like to do is I like to just select uh, one floor plan, go control C just for copy, uh, then start a new tab over here, just a new drawing, go control V and just place it over here. And do the same thing for the other one. So just select it, go control C, and then go over here, control V, and place it over here. Now, uh, in this case, as you can see, let's go back to the first plan. As you can see, it looks like this. So uh, according to the stair and according to like the, the two floor plans, we can see that this corner and this corner of the house or, or of these two floor, floor plans are aligned. So to make it easier for you in Revit, let's go for uh, drawing one. And here we can select this coordinate system, select uh, this, uh, the center of the coordinate system, and we can move it to this place over here. Do the same thing on uh, drawing two. So just select it, select it here, move it to the corner. So when we load this into Revit, and when we place these at different floor plans, they'll be exactly above each other at the correct place. So that's something you, you you want to have. Another thing I like to do in uh, AutoCAD. Now you can do this in Revit, but it's I just prefer to do it in AutoCAD. Just clean up the drawing of anything that you don't need. So for example, these annotations over here for the rooms, I can delete those. And maybe if you have some furniture that you don't want to have, I can just select it and delete it over here. And then check for all of the layers. So are these the layers you want to have? So the same thing for this floor plan, everything looks right. So now it's time to load this into uh, AutoCAD or into Revit. So let's just save these two files. So just go here to save and let's go to desktop. Let's call this, yeah, let's just call it drawing one and go save and go to drawing two. Again, save, uh, drawing two, and there we go. Now we can go into Revit and uh, let's talk about importing properly. So just go to architectural template. And once we're here, uh, now it's time to load these files. So we've got level one and that's where our drawing one will be going. And then we've got level two and that's where our uh, drawing two should be go going. So just go to level one and now for importing, just go here to insert and you have import CAD and uh, link CAD. So the difference between these two, if you go to import CAD, it will just load in the CAD file and it's just there forever. If you go with link CAD, it's actually going to remember the link on your computer. So if you make some additional changes to that uh, CAD file, it will automatically update in Revit, but you have to close Revit and then uh, open it up or reload the, the link 
in Revit. But uh, be careful, if you delete that CAD file and it's linked, it will just uh, disappear. So that's something you don't want to have. So for that, I'm just going to go here to import CAD and uh, let's just go to desktop and let's go with drawing number one. That's the one I want to use. Now for all of the uh, settings, you want to make sure that all of these settings are right. So for the colors, you can either preserve them uh, invert them <laughs> for some reason I, I just never do this and you have black and white I'm just going to choose black and white for this because I don't want to import all of that color then we've got levels uh, I'm just going to go with all levels and for import units uh, you need to check in AutoCAD so once you're here in AutoCAD just check the units by going to measure and then for example let's measure this staircase so it's 1.2 so I can just take a guess and say that's 1.2 meters so the units used over here are meters and one more thing that I forgot to mention in AutoCAD unless you're working with some sort of a uh, geographic uh, platform with all of the uh, all of your contour lines and something like that you want to take this uh, file and kind of uh, rotate it a bit so just go over here to this view cube and kind of rotate it uh, uh, around or just hold the shift key and uh, just kind of spin it around so you want to make sure that everything is on uh, in in one level because uh, if you kind of have uh, one line that's kind of somewhere up in space or if you've got something in uh, the Z axis it's going to, you're going to have trouble when you load it into Revit it will look kind of weird so just make sure that everything is in 2D indeed so let's go back into Revit we now know these are meters so you can go to auto detect and it's uh, kind of reasonably accurate but I just prefer to type in this and then here uh, positioning make sure you leave that origin to origin uh, because we're going to be placing this one uh, above the other the drawing one above the drawing two should be above drawing one so just make sure you leave positioning uh, origin to origin on both of them and here for place at i'm just going to do level one that's the level that we're at and yeah that's pretty much it so i'm just going to go uh, here to open and uh, that's it here's our plan so it's kind of uh, it's kind of off to one side that's because our uh, center is over here so it's kind of off to that side but don't worry we can leave it here it, it really doesn't uh, make any problems so now let's go to level two and here as you can see this is kind of uh, in the background or it's underneath so let's go here to import CAD go with that drawing two and let's do the same settings so it's actually going to remember all the settings and uh, as you can see here it's placing it at level two that's what you want to have and just go open and as you can see now this level is over here and uh, even though we did kind of set it in the correct place for some reason it kind of went off to the side and this happens uh, sometimes I'm not really sure why so in order to correct this you can select your drawing and you go here and you unpin it so as you can see now it's pinned and if you go to move it around you can't but if you unpin it now you can move this file around so what you can do is you can just use the align tool and just use this line align that to that maybe you can even lock it in place and this to this and lock it in place and now as you can see now it's actually exactly above the other floor plan and if we go into 3d this is what we have so it's actually one above uh, the other and now you can select it and lock it back in place this one is locked in place and then uh, you can go over here and find let's see which one is okay select pinned elements and just uncheck this so now you can't even select these two so just when you uncheck this it allows you to kind of block this from selection so you don't accidentally move it around okay so now once we've positioned this let's set up the graphics so uh, let's go back into level one uh, so let's just check this uh, back off so we can actually select it now you can actually explode it you can go here to partial explode or full explode I prefer full explode and then uh, it kind of drops everything into uh, lines um, for each line but this isn't really something I, I want to have or you can actually play around and perhaps we want to eliminate all of the furniture so if you go here into AutoCAD and let's see so my furniture layer is this 
So here, uh, as you can see, these all, all of these lines are furniture lines. So if I go back into Revit and go delete layers, I can find maybe furniture, check that and go OK. And now it deleted all of the furniture. So if I don't want to have too much furniture, I can do that same thing here. Select this floor plan, delete layers and go furniture. OK. And there you go. So you can remove stuff in uh, Revit as well, the stuff you don't want to have. And also, uh, when you're like this in, in, in Revit and you go to architecture, for example, and you start uh, drawing lines, as you can see, uh, if I draw a wall over this, like this, as you can see, the lines are the same thickness. I think that even these CAD lines are a bit thicker than this wall line. And I don't want to have that. I don't like that. I want to have this AutoCAD kind of in the background. So what I prefer to do is just go into VG for visibility graphics, go to imported uh, categories and you find uh, you can here uncheck them so you don't even show them. And if I hit apply and OK, the CAD file is gone. So this is something that you would do later on, probably once you're finished using that AutoCAD file. So it uh, just doesn't bother you. But let's go back into VG imported categories. Let's just turn it on. And here for drawing one, I'm just going to go with half tone. So you can hit apply. OK. And now, as you can see, this is at half tone and this wall is at, I don't know, full tone. So you can see it better. And you can actually, once you go back into VG, you can actually change uh, the layers. So maybe we can go for exterior walls. We can actually do an override. Let's try to make it red. Hit OK. OK apply OK. And now as you can see, the exterior walls are red. So if you want to play around with the graphics, you can actually do it through Revit. It's uh, quite smart. It's using all of the AutoCAD, uh, out, everything that it imported from AutoCAD and it's it can actually use everything. OK, so once you finally have this, let's start uh, modeling our house. So I can go here to the measure tool and measure this wall at 300 millimeters. So I can go here to wall find some 300 millimeter wall. And as you can see, if I just go to the center of this thing, it actually gives me this line. So I can go maybe like that and uh, draw the whole wall, go all the way around, go like that. So it's actually giving me these uh, kind of lines to help me out with placing this wall. But now we have a certain problem. OK, here where I want to place doors, if I just go to door and here I can see that we actually have a door over here and same thing here. We just need to adjust for uh, the size of the door, but we can see where the actual door sits. But for the windows, I don't know where the windows are. So uh, a way to go to work around this is just go here to wireframe. So now you have your walls, but you can actually see, OK, we've got a window over here, so maybe choose some window and place it uh, there, kind of like this, place one here. So uh, you kind of have to go to wireframe when you want to place uh, windows uh, because the walls will kind of uh, cover the whole uh, the whole drawing underneath so you won't be able to see it. So this is something that you will have to use. And then for doing all of the rest of the walls, just go again to wall and let's go to generic, I don't know, 150. And as you can see over here, you can actually go through the whole thing and do all of the walls. And if we select just the walls, so maybe go to filter, check none, walls, apply, OK. Uh, let's see. And if I now uh, check this to level two, so top constraint level two, and if we go into 3D here, as you can see, now it's all aligning to my second uh, floor plan and I can just go above that and start working in my second floor plan. OK, so those are the trick tips and tricks on how to take these uh, floor plans from uh, AutoCAD and import them into Revit and uh, how to do all of the necessary settings so it actually uh, works well and uh, you make uh, you make your floor plans as quick as possible with making the least amount of mistakes. OK, so that's pretty much it for uh, this import uh, tips and tricks tutorial for importing DWG or CAD files into Revit. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to download these project files, check out my Patreon first link in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.